Link down below in the description box so that you can read the patch notes on your own as I'm only going to cover the highlights here. Fixed an issue that caused players to load into games wearing a default black EASHL jersey instead of their own. Hip checks now use default interference logic to create more consistent penalty calls. The player throwing a hip check needs to be completely in the hip check animation for said hip check to be successful. Added logic that requires a higher relative speed between the hip checker and the hitty to create large hip check reactions. Reduce the time the puck needs to be out of the zone to end the pressure. The full pressure, that is, from 5 seconds to 3. Reduce the negative attribute multiplier applied to pinned players during full pressure from 20% to 15. Remove the negative energy drain multiplier for a team on the penalty kill to avoid double stacking with full pressure energy drain multiplier. Greatly reduce the probability of CPU teammates taking penalties and made this consistent across all game styles. Again, there are a couple of other things. I wish that, quite frankly, they would just remove all that bullshit from the game visually so that it's not on the ice. It's not super intrusive, but life is about options. And the more options you give to people, the more people you cater to. And if you do things right, you can literally cater to everybody, make everybody happy. But there's a couple of other things if you want to read them on your own. Like I said, I'm trying to get out of narrating patch notes that are long for several minutes at a time. As most people are not interested in that, they just kind of want to know the highlight of what's up and kind of check things out on their own. Again, even with that, you can't please everybody. Some people want to hear me narrate the whole thing. I personally want to try to get out of that. No offense. So this brings to your attention that there's an update. What's basically the gist of it. And that's pretty much it. And a link down below, of course, like I said, in the description box. So that you can read this on your own. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't like it. Those do help with the algorithm. And if you didn't... Uh, yeah, whatever. Sorry, and if you didn't like the video, thumbs down. And I'll bend it in half to a stick, break it off in your ass. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally, that would be fantastic now, wouldn't it? But if not, eh, whatever. Thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, and maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.